So an early start here from Manchester flying off to Paris very soon. Uh, Newcastle Group F encounter uh, with PSG. Uh, we know now it's uh, decisive. Newcastle need to win if they've got any chance of getting into the last 16. Uh, this game obviously ended 4-1 St James's Park uh, in the reverse fixture. So Newcastle will be looking for a little bit more of that. Uh, they'll be training on the pitch at uh, PSG before the game. They'll be training on the pitch uh, at the venue ahead of the game and the press conference takes place later uh, involving Nick Pope and uh, obviously Eddie Howe. So it's going to be an interesting one. Uh, Newcastle depleted by injuries. Uh, absences, uh, players ineligible, uh, Sandro Tonali banned, so so many absentees on the list. But Newcastle United showed they can be they can be galvanised by this uh, beating Chelsea four one at the weekend. Uh, let's hope for more of the same over in Paris. So we've made it to Paris, we're outside the Parc des Princes and as you can see all the big names there lined up on that wall who will face Newcastle United tomorrow night. Now PSG held their training session earlier today um, at lunchtime and their press conference but we're just about to go inside now uh, and speak to Eddie Howe and Nick Pope before the game. Now if you remember uh, the first game, how can you forget, 4-1 to Newcastle a magnificent famous night uh, for the Magpies but really uh, for PSG tomorrow is going to be all about revenge uh, they've, they've been talking about it ever since they lost 4-1 um, Luis Enrique was furious that night and I don't think he's calmed down yet so it's going to be a tough one for Newcastle but certainly uh, for all the injuries for all the absentees Eddie Howe is doing something special here at Newcastle he seems to be able to motivate the players he's getting the best out of every single player uh, who's available to him and he's told the players look don't worry about the injuries that's on me he's told them to focus on what we have not what we don't have and Eddie Howe did a brilliant job of motivating the players uh, on Saturday against um, Chelsea in the 4-1 win and now they've got to bring that quality here tomorrow and uh, try and get through it's you know it's a must win for Newcastle there's no escaping from it um, conditions at the moment very drizzly very wet very much like Newcastle uh, very much home from home here in Paris and Newcastle fans arriving in their droves uh, just to, to be part of this Champions League experience. I don't think the novelty's worn off yet. Uh, obviously we've had Dortmund and Milan. Uh, we now get to see what Paris can bring uh, here in Group F. well inside Park de Princes now where Newcastle United will be very soon training on a very wet surface here it's absolutely chucking down here in Paris tonight and uh, Newcastle for the first time in this Champions League campaign are going to do some uh, pre-match training uh, at the venue they didn't do it in Milan or Dortmund um, Eddie Howe said the pitch was overrated uh, maybe he's changed tact a little bit we'll have to wait and see what that is all about uh, he will be holding his press conference soon but here we are inside Park de Princes where Newcastle United's Champions League fate will be decided tomorrow night in Group F uh, they need a victory to secure a place in the last 16 it's going to be very tough here and also PSG are still rattled from that 4-1 uh, win for Newcastle back at St James's Park so it's going to be really interesting to see uh, how Newcastle do in these conditions and see exactly how much workload uh, Eddie Howe is putting on the players.
So there you have it, believe it or not, Newcastle United are training behind me. They've put them in uh, the most difficult position for Newcastle uh, followers to, to see here. Uh, but they are training here. This is the closest we've got to a glimpse here. I'm not quite sure if PSG uh, have decided to train on that part of the pitch or we have to stand on here. But uh, journalists doing their best to get a bit of a look here. So there's about 19 Newcastle players on their train at the moment. Uh, four of them are goalkeepers, so it just shows you how threadbare Newcastle United really are. There's no Sean Longstaff there, uh, he hasn't travelled. Uh, same with Joe Willock, he's going to see specialists. We knew he wasn't going to be involved in this game anyway. Um, but that's pretty much what Newcastle have, what, what, what's uh, training on that pitch at the moment. So, you know, in the press conference, Eddie Howe and Nick Pope both saying you cannot um, use injuries as an excuse. They're, they've never gone down that road and they're not going to start now. Um, but what you see is what you get. I just fear that. Uh, if there's a couple of injuries tomorrow night, where Newcastle going to stand for that game against Man United and then going into that eight game December, it's going to be really tough. Uh, hopefully a couple of players will come back, but that's the whistle blown on training. We now have to move back to uh, the press area.